my channel. This is Javaher from AI Javaher. Today we're going to talk about first use geometry to get X and Y from point shape file. Second, install OSPY book. Third, print attribute table. Fourth, plot shape file. Don't forget to push subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up to continue. Let's go. Well, in a previous session, we read shapefile by ogr.open and also we get layer, get feature and create a loop through the feature. If you want to know what is zero here and how to create an index uh, to the get layer, check this video. It was really helpful for you. Now I want to create a point shapefile from a polygon shapefile because I want to get the geometry specific for each point. At the first, I add a layer, uh, the Manhattan layer, you can find it in my GitHub as well. Uh, also, I uh, pass my address and then add it. This is my Manhattan layer. And then uh, I want to create a point from each uh, polygon. It means that I want to get a centroid of each polygon. Uh, from a, a vector geometry tools and the centroids uh, Here I choose input layer uh, Manhattan layer is just my layer and I don't have any layer as well and the centroids now I want to give uh, the address of my uh, output I create center name for my shapefile in this address. As you can see, the type is shapefile. You can choose it something else, but I want to create a shapefile and save here and then push a run button. As you can see here, the center is created. Let me check the attribute stable. As you can see, we don't have any geometry here, but the geometry for each point is in, in itself. At the first, I uh, should pass the address of my uh, shapefile uh, through the here. Uh, let me check the address. Don't forget to use a double slash or one back slash. And the name was center.shb. And I turned all the slash into a double slash or back a slash. Now I create a loop uh, from my Manhattan layer. For example, for F means feature in Manhattan layer. At the first, I get a geometry show F dot geometry geometry. And then uh, I want to get X and Y for each point. For example, is X, show dot, uh, for example, get X. And also Y, show dot, get Y. Uh, in previous session, I use, for example, F dot zone to get a zone attributes but now i want to use get field uh, look at here i create zone for example and f dot get field and the field is zone i don't know i type the zone is capital or no let me check i think it was small and then the ID, for example, instead of I use get field here, I use get field as integer because I want get field as because I want to get back integer for me. Location ID. And also, I can use uh, f dot get field as a string if you want to give a string from any attributes. Uh, for example, we have something in 
attributes table if i remember true yes it was true now let me print something for example i print f zone is for example something zone the id is for example uh, id and i want to show you let's just finish and i want to show you x and y i print for example x set x and then i print y then y let me run it works for us uh, it gives all of them let me put break here to give just one of them to give us one of them let me check yes we get give us just at the zero index for manhattan layer the zone is alphabet the city the id is four and this is the x geometry and this is the y geometry as we can see here uh, let me check uh, this is the Jupyter table of center uh, yes the zero index the object is four the location id is four and the zone is alphabet city but uh, we don't have any geometry here to check it this geometry is true or not I'll teach you some tutorial to calculate geometry i can use uh here a calculator and i want to create a new field for example my field is x and uh, i created the type is into a decimal number and then i use x dollar symbol and then like geometry and then i push ok as you can see here the x geometry of each point created also i can create a y turn it into a decimal number and the y dollar symbol geometry and then i put ok as you can see the y is created too let me check this is true or not for the zero index Yes, as you can see, this is true. Well, you might find it useful to know about the function in OSPY boot module that will help you to visualize your data without opening any other software program, but for example, like QGIS. But if you want to explore your data in any depths, uh, actually the QGIS or ArcGIS is better than GDAL. I, at the first, I want to show you how can I install OSPY book. Uh, you download OSPY book latest zip uh, from my GitHub and put it somewhere that you want to install it from that and then open CMD. You can also do it by, uh, for example, PyCharm Terminal 2, but I want to use CMD to show you in general. Uh, okay, at the first, I activate my environment. Conja activate, for example, GDAL is the name of my environment. Uh, if you don't uh, know how to create environment, how to install GDAL, Check this video actually. As you can see, the GDAL environment is activated. Now I should write pip install and then the address of OSPY latest zip and then push enter. Uh, because I installed before. Uh, it said that I successfully install OSPY book, uh, but for you it takes uh, some minutes to install that. Okay. Now I want 
going to show you the attribute table. Before that, we open attribute table in QGIS like this, but now I want to have this attribute table in uh, Jira. Uh, at first, let me comment this code and then I use import uh, OS py book as db for example and then use a pb for example i say pb dot print attribute table if you don't know what should you pass for each function uh, press control the mouse shape turn into the hand and then click into the function something else open it here and it show you and it has some description for you what should you do or something else uh, the layer or fn it means that you should pass the uh, address of your layer here uh, this is my address of my layer and the second one is n n means how many uh, row do you want to show you for example i want to show us five row five feature and then the fields which fields do you want to show you for example fields that i want is uh, for example zone and location id id and and also we have something uh, here geometry and reset reset means a reset a layer again and geometry it's true for default and then after i run the first time i'll show you if i put it false what is happen as you can see here uh, the five feature of uh, 69 features and uh, we have a geometry zone and location ID. We have these two fields from fields zone and location ID. But if I put geometry false, geom false, let me put it false here. We have a geometry here let me run again we don't have any geometry just zone and location id now i want to show you how can we uh, for example plot a shape by something like this in qgis or rqis uh, by gdal at the first uh, let me comment this line at the first you need from import from ospy book dot vector plot vector plotted import vector plotter and then uh, in the most uh, tutorial they write it that vp vector plotted and they uh, interactive vector plotted by put it true and they then they write for example a vp dot plot and then they pass the address of their shape file for example this is our address and then the symbol that they want to show for example the symbol is bo uh, let me run this one as you can see nothing happened in this, some other tutorials, they write that vp.plot and then the address and then they feel uh, as you know, false. Let me run again. Just we had this error, we get this error. But I want to show you something that it works and you can plot your a shape file in vector plotter we don't need this line actually and also you need non-interactive vector plotter so i put it false here and i 
write it repo dot draw it uh, draw it helps to force to plot our shape and then I run it well as you can see this is our plot here it is not as beautiful as QGIS but it works hey guys today you learn a lot about GDAL congratulations push subscribe button follow us on Instagram the codes are available on github the link is below if you have a question comment below give me a thumbs up and bye bye